Hey guys, it's me, My Reborns, and I am back with another video. So today is Sunday, October 31st, and it's currently 4.23, and I have the three babies that are in my collection. Again, I have three more babies, but they're just not here right now, but I decided to feature them for this video. So I decided to feature my own babies, or my personal collection of babies for this video today, and it is Halloween, so I am going to be reading The Littlest Pumpkin. We got this book at uh, the Goodwill for 99 cents. And you guys were there when I picked this book out. So if you guys did not watch that video, go ahead and watch it. So before I get started on reading this book, I would like to say I am currently having a deal slash special on Reborn Claudia and Reborn Scarlet. So until I'm not going to upload this video. I know it's Halloween, but I'm not going to upload this video actually until Wednesday for Wednesday's video, which is November 3rd. So I was going to have the deal run into the 5th, but I'm actually going to extend it to the 7th. So it's a very, very good deal, which is why it's only limited for a few days. I know I said I was not going to go any lower on Scarlet, but I've had her since February. I had her since February, March, and I... <laughs> I am tired of seeing her so I'm gonna let her go now her original price was around 300 and then I settled I like lowered it and lowered it and I settled on 230 free shipping now I am lowering her price and price to $180 free shipping I would never lower it again this is the only time I will ever lower it so if you wanted to download that $100 there you go you have Scarlett she would go home with her sleeper of the gender of your choice an outfit of the gender of your choice and a magnetized pacifier that's all she would go with um she is 180 dollars free shipping i want her gone you guys can have her claudia on the other hand i will honestly let her go for 250 dollars she will go home with a sleeper and an outfit of the said gender as well as a pacifier and maybe a bottle or something she will go home with one extra goodie so 250 free shipping, 180 free shipping. They will never be that low again. So make sure you jump on that. Claudia might. I might lower Claudia's price in the future, but Scarlett definitely not. I've never sold a baby in the hundreds, so $180 and she's yours. Alright, now that we got that all out the way, we have Chandler. He's in his cute mom's in a monster outfit. He's the only one that got a chance to dress up today unfortunately and I did not get a chance to take pictures of him which I'm really bummed out about and I'm also sorry if you guys hear any background noise I decided to do this video when um my mom was here so <laughs> I could have did it earlier and I always never do it until she comes back home so I guess that's my fault but then we have Zaire he's in his cute little um elephant outfit and then we have Eilina she's in her cute little Lee's Hawaiian outfit and since I have not been having her lay her head like I know she's laying her head on the wall here but since I have not been like having her lay down her hair has been doing really really good so that's good but we're gonna start by reading The Littlest Pumpkin it is by R.A. Herman and illustrated by Bettina Odigan and I feel like I read this book when I was little but I'm very very unsure so we're gonna reposition the camera and we're gonna get started on this book all right, I moved you guys, and I think we're ready to read our book, aren't we, guys? The Littlest Pumpkin. Aw, I think someone donated this book to the Goodwill because I remember back in elementary school, we would have, like, a class set of books. Just, like, this was in, like, first kindergarten, and they would have, like, the teacher's name in the inside of the cover. Um, So, thank you, Miss Murr, for donating this book, and I am reading this specifically and especially for you <laughs> i did not know that um that was there but that's cool okay so the littlest pumpkin and i do hope it stays focused at all times it was halloween and there were 18 pumpkins left at barlett's farm stand The pumpkins looked their very best because they all wanted to be taken home and made into jolly jack-o'-lanterns. The littlest pumpkin had the biggest dreams of all. She saw herself shining in the dark with ghosts, monsters, witches, and fairies gathered around her singing a Halloween song. 
and today was the day when all her dreams were going to come true. Maggie dropped by the stand on her way to school, just as it was opening. I want the biggest pumpkin you have for my class party, she said, looking at the pumpkins on display. She didn't even glance at the littlest pumpkin. The pumpkin Maggie chose was so big, Mr. Barlett had to help her put it in her mother's car. Then the twins arrived. Jess won the roundest, fattest pumpkin. Jen won the tallest, skinniest pumpkin. They both knew exactly what they wanted their jack-o'-lanterns to look like. Later that morning, Ms. Garland's class came to the farm stand to buy apples and pumpkins for their Halloween party. The littlest pumpkin was very excited when she saw all the children. Now certainly, I would be chosen by someone and made into a jack-o'-lantern, she thought. But no one chose the littlest pumpkin. That is actually very sad. I'm getting very emotional reading this. I know I'm taking a while to turn the pages, but like they're like made out of like this really good material and I don't want to skip a page. So I hope I didn't skip any so far. All day long, people came to the farm stand to buy pumpkins. Mr. Potter ran in to choose a pumpkin for his daughter, Kate. Poor Kate was home with the flu. But she had drawn pictures for her dad so he could see exactly what kind of pumpkin she wanted. Mr. Potter looked at every single pumpkin until he found the right one. Kate's pumpkin. The sun began to set and only four pumpkins were left at the farm stand. One pumpkin had a bruise on his back. One pumpkin was lumpy and bumpy. One pumpkin didn't have a stem and the last pumpkin was the littlest pumpkin. I said pumpkin so many times, I feel like I'm not even saying the word right. <laughs> the littlest pumpkin still had big dreams. She would be a beautiful jack-o'-lantern at a Halloween party. She would shine in the dark with ghosts, monsters, witches, and fairies gathered around her singing a Halloween song. But while the littlest pumpkin was dreaming, Gabe and Mona arrived. They ran up to the four remaining pumpkins. Gabe grabbed the stemless one. Perfect, he said. My jack-o'-lantern is going to wear this hat. Mona picked up the littlest pumpkin. Oh, how cute, she said. The littlest pumpkin was so happy. All her dreams were going to come true. But it's too small for me to carve into a jack-o'-lantern, said Mona, putting it down. Then she picked up the lumpy, bumpy one instead. Now this one is perfect. My battery's dying, guys. Soon it was dark and the stars began to sparkle in the sky. Mr. Barlett was cleaning up. Oh, please don't close yet, thought the littlest pumpkin. I must be a jack-o'-lantern for Halloween. Suddenly, Mr. Barlett heard someone calling his name. Mr. Barlett, Mr. Barlett, it was Sam. Please wait, said Sam. I need a pumpkin for my party tonight. And I'll be right back because my camera battery is dying so I'm gonna go switch it out really quick I am back and all of my camera batteries are dead so we're gonna have to make the most out of this one so we're gonna speed this up a tiny bit I apologize guys Mr. Barlett picked up the bruised pumpkin and told Sam that if he turned it around it would make a very, very nice jack-o'-lantern Sam agreed and with that Mr. Barlett closed the farm stand so there in the dark on Halloween night sat the littlest pumpkin. She was all alone. Or so she thought. For just when the littlest pumpkin was sure she was going to be spending Halloween night all alone in the empty farm stand, mice started scurrying around her. They were decorating everything, wearing tiny costumes and carrying all sorts of Halloween goodies. And before the littlest pumpkin knew what was happening. She found herself in the middle of a Halloween party. My dressed in costumes were bobbing for cranberries, playing pin the tail on the squirrel, and eating cheese and crumbs. Then the best thing of all happened. The littlest pumpkin was turned into a jack-o'-lantern. She was shining in the dark with ghost monsters, witches, and fairies gathered around her singing a Halloween song. All her big dreams had come true on Halloween night. 
all right guys so that was the little with pumpkin my camera is dying but the moral of the story is to be patient always be patient my ring light had um turned off i don't know why but that is pretty much it for this video follow me on instagram at my underscore reborn so let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about the littlest pumpkin and i will talk to you guys later if you guys like this video give it a big thumbs up comment down below anything you want including video requests and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to my channel already also click that bell so you guys can always be notified when i post another video all right i'll talk to you guys later bye happy halloween stay safe and happy november